Okay, welcome back everybody. Um, before the break, we, could you, okay, we're starting now. Could, could you sit down? We're starting? Yeah, now please. Thank you. Jeez. Okay, so um, before the break, we were looking at functions, and if you remember, what we were doing was you can, you, can, you can add a new word or a new idea to Python by saying, let's define foo of x to be, I don't know, return type of x. And then, of course, we can just print foo of, I don't know, 2783 or something like that, and it tells you that this thing's an integer, right? This is really simple stuff. I mean, even Excel users can understand this. So what we're going to do now is take a look at some of the other things that we can do with functions. Now, def, the, the, the def keyword here is really important. That's what tells you that you're creating a function, but you're defining not using. This is instantiating a new function object. It's not actually invoking anything. So, and yes, it's, it's lexical binding. So uh, what we're going to do now is if I say something like, um, um, okay, let, let's, you know, let's just do something really simple like double of x is return two times x, which of course is polymorphic, we can double three, uh, right? And as you'd expect from something which is doing like lazy binding on types, we can double foo and, right, it works like you'd expect. So uh, for those of you who haven't seen functions before, don't worry about this, this is what you expect. Trust me. So, um, hang on, sorry. Right, so uh, what we're gonna do now is if I then say, uh, let's define functor, uh, the function we're applying and the object we're applying it to, to be return f of uh, o uh, plus f of o, and then I can say functor of uh, double and and um, right, that should return six. Oh, sorry, sorry, my bad. Uh, let's, yeah, don't worry about this. I'm just gonna fix this up. Um, so we do that, right? And so now what I've defined is a higher level function that lets me start passing functions around as parameters because a function is just another data object so you can pass it in. So what we're really doing here is saying three plus three, well, two times three plus two times three, which is 12. Any questions? 